So you want to know the difference between a rational number and an integer. Um, actually, the, that's not a terribly difficult question, but uh, it can certainly be confusing if you aren't if you don't look at it from the right point of view. Um, rationals are a bigger set of numbers than integers are. Um, rationals are really uh, you could divide all the numbers there are, all the real numbers there are, into two groups. Um, all the real numbers are either rationals or irrationals. But under the rationals, so if we take them, if we draw a huge circle, if this is all the real numbers, R E A L, there we go, all the real numbers, inside that circle you have rationals and you have irrationals. Yeah? So part of them are irrational part of them are rational. But that makes up all of the real numbers. Shouldn't put a circle around that, sorry. Um, but between the rational and irrational numbers, you make up all the real numbers there are. Under the rational numbers, there's a portion of the rational numbers, so a small section of this over here, not necessarily small, but a section of this part over this half over here, is the integer division. Yeah, integers are still part of that rational portion of the real numbers, but the rational numbers are bigger than just the integers. Let me show you what I mean. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. So um, certainly, you know, fractions like one half, one fourth, um, thirty-five, thirty-ninths. <laughs> Those are all rationals. Those those are numbers that are written as fractions and they obviously jump out as, as rationals. But whole numbers could be considered rational numbers as well because, say, for instance, the number 4. The number 4 is the same thing as 4 over 1. You can write 4 as 4 over 1. Heck, you can even write it as you know, 16 over 4 if you want. It's still a fraction. Um, so whole numbers can be rational numbers because rational numbers are anything that can be written as a fraction make a little room down here for us so we can write a little more. There we go. Um, so these can be written as a fraction. Yeah. Integers are numbers that don't need to be written as fractions. They are whole numbers. They're the counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, uh, 546. Yeah. These are all integers. Negative 7. Uh, negative 223. Those are all integers. Three-fifths, not an integer. Yeah, It has to be written as a fraction. Now, all of these numbers, all of these integers could be written as fractions if we wanted. We could write them over 1, and they'd still be the same number. So they're part of the rational number uh, group. But because they don't need to be written as a fraction, because they are whole and complete numbers on their own, they are also integers. So I hope that clears it up for you.